Hello, my name is Nikolai and I want to show you a little bit of my concept art photo bashing process. There is a very simple prompt for this uh, simple exercise. It was an overgrown wreck. So here you can see me looking for references and composing a very simple mood board and looking for some ruins some mountains because I'm thinking uh, about a mountain scene. Uh, I wrote uh, a little bit of what I would want to incorporate in the scene, so I wrote bridge, maybe a train, mountains, forests, and a character. So I'm beginning the uh, process with a very simple grayscale sketch. This is a super simple method used by almost anyone I know. And it just is about composing some very simple shapes using Photoshop's lasso tools. I'm not even painting at this stage. You could sketch this part out with line art, but honestly this is a bit faster. You can uh, achieve some semblance of uh, an actual sketch of the scene uh, way quicker that way. And it doesn't need to be detailed whatsoever. This is just a super fast placing of the actors of the scene. Uh, so this is a very photo bashing heavy uh, concept art. It's meant to be fast. I made it in about two and a half hours. Uh, here you can see me using only a free uh, stocks like Unsplash, like Pexels. So already I am compositing a bit of a rough bridge here. The problem I have with this process is that for the 90% of the time uh, Usually my projects look like trash and only at the beginning, the last stages of the, my work, when I actually overpaint and fix all of the mistakes, hide scenes and make it all interconnected, only then it begins to look more or less like I want it to. Searching for some simple ruins, it doesn't even have to be like building ruins or construction ruins. It would help, but I would want just some very raw ruined materials. Very raw. I'm selecting, I'm cutting out basic shapes, I'm looking for demolished buildings. Most of the pasted photos I convert instantly into smart objects for the ability to go back and scale it up and down without the loss of quality. And to be able to multiply it just like in this building, or this structure. This is a very loose concept not much thought is being put into the, uh, the structures itself. I'm aiming mostly at uh, achieving an interesting mood for the scene, a sort of a cold post-apocalyptic view with a traveler seeing a ruins of, uh, of some bigger structures. The tools I'm using for the cutouts are rather simple. Uh, these are all the Photoshop select uh, tools. And I'm slowly using various bits and pieces to compose the base for the scene. So the very uh, forefront of the scene is going to be uh, much more detailed than the rest. So I'm putting a bit more effort in it. 
I'm thinking about a foggy forest. This is a landscape similar to where I live in the southern Poland, the Bieszczady region or the Stołowe Mountains. Not any actual vista, but very inspired by it. The, the, this, this right part of the painting is going to be a bit of a pain. You will see me me messing with it right until the end and fixing it and going back to it because I'm not happy about it. So yeah, there's this mountain it's going down. I was thinking about maybe putting in some bridge ruins beneath but I didn't do it at the end. I decided it may be a bit too much and it's going to be covered in fog anyway so why bother. It's supposed to be fast overcast sky, I wasn't aiming into anything super dramatic, just this like rainy, cold feeling. And here I actually started to overpaint a bit, to dampen the colors, to lessen the contrast. Paint in some destruction into the bridge. And beginning to paint some volumetrics or foggy atmosphere for better perspective. Starting to look a bit better now. But as I said before, the right part of the painting is going to be a pain. Not all of the photos I'm copying and pasting are actually being used. This is a try and fail and try again process. Here I put in some like hanging cables or lines. Maybe someone is still using this as a bridge hanging bridge. Here I'm trying the very simple chromatic aberration using Photoshop camera raw filters. The color grading, a vignette, but this right side of the painting is still not looking very good, so I'm going back to overdo it. Maybe more trees. Of foresty scenes. Here I'm trying with hills. I actually looked up Bieszczady Mountains. It turns out there's uh, quite a bit of photos on these stocks. Scenes like that, I think it's very important to know what kind of mood you're aiming for. I'm painting masks on top of the layers to hide and reveal parts of the graphics. Again, the same process of post production chromatic aberration making a bit more of a spacey feeling here with more of this fog and that's it two and a half hours very quick hope you guys liked it let me know in the comments if you'd like something like that in the future bye